In this mighty fine tutorial, I want to work with motion graphics and show you how to create an animated icon like that within PowerPoint, especially the circle going around is something very unique and not usually seen in PowerPoint. Let's create a new slide and start working right away. Okay, I used a rectangle. You can of course use like a different check mark, but the simplest way to create a check mark would be to create a rectangle just pressing Ctrl D to duplicate it and make it a little longer. Now we can work with the rotation. I'll click on the rotation. I press my shift key, so I'll rotate equal amounts. This is 15 degrees and I rotate it three times. So one, two, three. Okay, it already went three at one go. Okay, I'll try to align them. I hope I'm really close. Okay, it seems to be perfect. Maybe this a little closer. Now select both of them. You can select this multiple ways, either click and drag or just click on one of them, shift click, click on the other. Shape format, merge shapes and not subtract, union. I wanted to union them. Shape outline, no outline. For the color, just go more fill colors and give it maybe something more pleasant for the eye. Okay, we have this turquoise blue. For the circle, that is the main part of this animation. I'll select insert shapes and I will use this hollow circle. And let me show you something. This hollow circle needs to be possibly to the size of, of this icon. It can be bigger, but this will look really cool if it goes around and goes a little here behind it. Okay, I made this circle number one and the entire trick, I will click on shape outline. The entire trick here is to duplicate this object one more time, put it above each other. If you can't put it perfectly, just select both of them, shift D click this icon, go to shape format, align, align center, align, align middle. They will align to each other. Now you need to make sure that one of the circles is a cover up and it needs to be a little bigger to give us really room for errors. It's about three. So I made 3.2, 3.2. Okay. Now I need to repeat the aligning process, shape format, align center, align middle. Okay, I've aligned the circles. Now the bigger circle, shape format, let me just change its color. It can be, for example, green. And I make sure that it again will be much, much bigger than the circle behind it. Now I'm completely sure that it covers the circle behind it. I've made a big circle. Now let me show you the genius trick here. I go to insert shapes again. I have it on a shortcut that is old two for myself and you want simple, normal ovals, normal circles. Put the oval somewhere on this side because I want to cut out a circular design out of this big circle. I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate this. I'll rotate it accordingly. And this should make for a really nice cutout from the green circle. You want to select the green circle. You want to press down your shift key and now select circle number two number three. The order is very important to select the green circle first, because when I go to merge shapes, I go to subtract, it will now subtract properly. Now, what did I do? I achieved some nice circular elements here. You can probably see where I'm going with that. I will take the circle in the back. I'll color it the same color as the icon. And the circle in front of you should be actually colored to the same color that the background is. In my case, this is white. Now you can see it covers up this icon. That's no big problem because you can always click on the icon, right click and just bring it to front. You can even duplicate the icon if you want and change its color to achieve some kind of shadow. More fill colors, I usually just make it a little darker so you have the same color but a little darker. Shift clicking both of them and Ctrl G so this is one object and the circles are something separate. By the way, if you wish to create explainer videos within PowerPoint, I have a dedicated course that teaches exactly that. More on that in the description. Let's head back into the tutorial. Now the animation. Animations will be pretty simple in this case. For the icon, I can select a wipe. Wipe from bottom or wipe from left is completely fine. You can see it's on click, but later on we change this to with previous. Now for the circle, the big white circle, the cover up circle needs to have a spin animation. 
and this makes the beauty of this motion graphic. Now select the circle in the back, because you don't want the circle in the back to appear right away. You want this to fade in, and add animation fade out, so you don't see it at all times. Now we have prepared all the animations that we need. Go to the animation pane, shift click when you have the last one selected, shift click the first one so we have everything, and right click with previous. I want everything to happen at once. Now this circle hollow should appear when the yellow animation, the spin animation starts, and should disappear when the yellow animation finishes. So at since this animation is 2 seconds long, I think this is too long, 1.5 seconds, this one should be delayed by 1 second, since it has a duration of half a second, it should disappear exactly as this one finishes. You can of course reduce the duration and increase the delay, so it's a little slower. Ok, let me decrease the fade and we are basically done with this animation. Let me preview it, boom, it goes around, if you don't like where it starts, just take the cover up option and put it a bit more to the side. I think this aligns a little better when the animation starts where the icon is. The animation will be still the same, beautiful, it fades in, fades out, nice. This is a perfect example because we could take this now, Ctrl C and Ctrl V onto any slide we have. The only change we need to make is make sure that this circle is the same color as the background. Now, no one would notice what happens here, it looks like advanced motion graphics in PowerPoint. If you would like to learn PowerPoint and especially animation like that with me, I have links to my animation online courses in the description below and probably here on top of the video in the exclamation mark. We will see each other in other motion graphics tutorials like that because I'll surely be publishing more of them.